Earlier in the summer, I read a particularly apocalyptic and devastating article on climate change. The future was untenable. The time to act, the author argued, had long since passed. I walked to the beach later that day and watched as a child ran into her mother's arms and I found myself bursting into tears because I wondered if I would want to bring a child into this world. I waded into the ocean and thought only of acidification, of overfishing, of the trash island floating in the heart of the Pacific. When I returned to my home, I sank into the dark living room and did nothing as the world breathed on as it wants to do all around me. For those of us who absorb everything, porosity can be as painful as it can be empowering. As much as Loam is about celebrating creativity and sustainability, it's also about discovering diverse entry points into how we can generate meaningful change. And so herewith, a highly unscientific guide for growing our resiliency and collaborating with our community as we work passionately and persistently to nurture our environment. I know that you didn't ask to hear from a girl who once cried very publicly on a beach about what to do, but I hope you'll find comfort in the fact that this advice has been crowdsourced from the Loam Collective, <laughs> particularly co-curator Nicole Stanton for radiating love and Kimora Brock for her effervescent spirit. There's absolutely nothing that we do that we do alone. All right, here it goes. One, find role models. Make it your mission to connect with and learn from people who inspire you. Look to your teachers, your family, to beloved authors and fearless artists and environmental activists. Look to the incredible wordies that I am lucky enough to stand next to. Two, be vigilant about having hope. To be hopeful neither ignores inconvenient truths, nor is it illogical. Hope is a practice grounded in discipline, determination, and active collaboration. Three, work with what you have. Maybe you love to dance. Maybe you are passionate about geology. Maybe the only kind of chemistry you understand is the many alchemical reactions that conspire in the kitchen. However you are, you have a place at the table. You have a way into this world. The environmental movement doesn't just need researchers and scientists, although we do. We need musicians and painters and poets, providing that you trust in your basic goodness, your interests, whatever they may be, hold the potential to spark a movement in your corner of the universe. We can act from genuine anguish and anxiety. We can act from peace. We can act from hope. The reasons why don't matter so much. What matters is that we act. Thank you to the Wesleyan community for helping us grow wild walls into some kind of beautiful. Thank you to the many incredible people, more than I can name in this speech, who have made Loam a home. Thank you to my immensely loving family and to my badass and brilliant friends. Thank you to the compassionate crew at the Earth Island Institute for such a tremendous honor and for all the good work that you do. And thank you to Anisha and Ruth for your humor and for your moxie. And thank you to you all for sharing in this experience tonight. I'm flooded with gratitude to be here with you now in this world and to have this time to work together.